Hello traders, it is Samurai Trader here. We're about to run through another training session on three winning trades out of three. Now, uh, as we get underway, I'll probably have a preamble of about 10 minutes where I'll run through some slides, I think, which are really important. Then we'll spend maybe 15, 20 minutes just going through the charts and discussing various setups. So please stay with me. So in today's session, I'm gonna be teaching you how I day trade and how you can also day trade as well. And let me teach you how to day trade the right way. You don't need expensive indicators. In fact, I give away all the indicators that I uh, teach my members on. And uh, just about uh, every trading platform has everything you need to day trade successfully. So just give you a bit of uh, background here. So. Usually I'll fire off and just trade a couple of contracts just before I start my live trading room, just to warm up, but also as a discussion point as we first start our trading of the day. So I run both the live trading room and I run live coaching sessions for my members. Now we can look at this and say, oh look, 275, 246 dollars uh, in 90 minutes, that's nothing. You are correct, that's not a lot of money, but it's still over $1,000 a week. And what if you trade that on 10 or even 20 contracts? So I teach my members how to start with a small account and then how to build into a large account. So let me just pull up the disclaimer. There is a risk in trading. Don't trade with money that you can't afford to lose. One great thing about virtually all trading platforms, you can now trade on a simulator until you go live so master it on the simulator and now thanks to really recent over what's really happened over the last few years you can now trade uh, micro contracts if you're a futures trader you can trade of course mini and micro uh, lots on forex a little bit harder on stocks because i've got the uh, for as for day traders because i've got the pattern trading rules there of having a minimum of $25,000. But you can get underway with trading either Forex or futures for anywhere between $500 and $1,000 your away. So as always, by the way, traders, my videos are all real and unedited. I don't have a script here. So also what is very important, you can day trade any uh, type of chart you like to trade. You can use time-based charts. Uh, today I'll be showing you on Renko, but it could be range, it can be tick. It um, really doesn't matter at, uh, what type of chart you use. The, the, uh, the setups that I teach you, you can also trade on any market and any time frame itself. So if you like to scalp, a uh, hundred times a day, you can use the exact same setups because they're what we call fractal in nature. They appear on all time frames and uh, just different sizes, if you like. So you'll see a larger divergence pattern, for an example, on a daily chart than what you will say on a two tick Renko. But you'll see what I mean on that in a moment. A couple of things that are really important, and these are the things that most traders uh, don't really want to hear about. And, you know, I know some of you will probably switch off now when I talk about this, but winning traders are, will are willing to do the things that losing traders won't do. And winning traders become students of the markets and students of the mind. Unfortunately, traders are sold a, a bill of goods where they can go out and start making thousands of dollars immediately. It's just not true traders, it's just not true, but you can still get very wealthy very quickly doing it correctly. But what you've got to do is not only master the setups, but you've also got to master your mind. It truly is 90% head stuff. So as I state here, you've got to work harder on our mindset than what we do on mastering our trading. Now the first step that you need to do in mastering your trading, and I'm going to assume here that you're one of my clients, either one of my private clients, uh, private coaching clients, or one of my group uh, in one of my trading rooms here, that one of the first things you need to do is to set a goal. And I've got a free giveaway here for you, which you can go and request and download. I'll give that to you in a moment on setting your goals. But you've also got to set realistic goals because this is a business. For an example, we never risk any more than 2%. There's so much 
um, guff out there that you can risk up to 5%, not if you're a day trader. Okay, you're gonna blow your account. And what actually happens is besides losing money, you lose your confidence. And that's a lot harder to get back than say, building another trading account. So as Tony Robbins says here, setting goals is the first step into turning the invisible into visible. Now I have a saying as um, with day trading, get rich slowly. So I'm gonna be showing you how to target 500 to 10,000 a week, starting here with a small account, one or two contracts. Now you've got to set some daily and weekly profit targets and that's what this will actually do. So first of all, make sure you please subscribe to my channel. Very important to be able to keep, be kept up to date with my trading videos and other videos that I do. But on the link below, you'll be able to download my free compound uh, trading income calculator, which is this one, which I'll give you a very quick demo. And in the training video that comes with this, uh, I really get into how to use it um, after about 13 minutes, but I recommend you watch the whole video because I'm talking about uh, trading psychology and a whole lot more. So please subscribe uh, in the link below the video. You can also obtain this free of charge. And this is critical that you start with this. Now, before I show you the calculator, I just want to show you this here. And, and as I showed you at the start, we are going to be going to the charts, but I, want, I need to set the scene first of all. Now, financially, day trading can be very um, very life-changing. Sorry, I was only gonna say challenging. It can be challenging as well. <laughs> However, um, so many would be day traders set unrealistic targets. So I wanna show you what a realistic target is and where to build from there. Now, realistically, if you're say trading the 6A or the 6E, the Euro, uh, or say the ES or oil, anywhere from $100 to $600 uh, per car, that means per contract, uh, really depending on the market you're trading, the time frame you trade and the amount of time you're actually trading. Now, what we do know is that $1,000 a day or $5,000 a week will be a life changer for most people. How do you realistically, hand on the heart, do that? Well, if you're trading, say, the 6C, which is what we'll look at, you can trade 10 lots, 10 contracts by $100 a day each. And I'll show you on the charts in a moment how to do that. If you're, say, trading the ES, you could trade uh, four contracts, 250 a day. And with both of them, whether you're trading 10 on the 6E or four on the ES, you're going to have the same, approximately the same capital requirements. So if you follow my trading rules, which will keep you on the right side of ledger and keep you in the business, okay, we never ever risk any more than 2%. And as you build your trading account, you want to lower that. Uh, lower that. So let's just say here, if um, you're trading one to $200,000, trading 20, 30 lots, you want to drop that down to 1% because you are now what we call a funds manager. You're running your own fund and you've got to treat this as a business. So what I'm about to show you here is that based upon a $2,500 account, uh, here earning $100 a day, traders, that's, and I'm gonna show you how to do that in a moment, how to achieve this, that's 4% a day, 20% per week. You get up to 125, and I know many of you have seen this, but it's good for me to reinforce this. Repetition is the mother of learning, 25% a week. Go up to 150 a day, at 6% a day, risking no more than 2%. Now, if you follow a trading plan, the compend, uh, com, sorry, the, the compound effect is huge, but so many traders want that quick fix. They don't want to hear half of this. So basically, how do we achieve say 100 and, and 150 day on the market? We're going to be looking at today. Well, we're looking for three seven step trades a day. Okay, that's all. Three um, seven step or in this case tick trades and you'll see when we get to the Renko, I call them steps. That's all you need. And so what that means is if we look at this and and I'm not going to do a big sell on becoming a member here by the way, but if you become a member you get all these cheat sheets and whatever. But here seven ticks on the 6E or the yen 
uh, futures contract is 43.75. Three of those a day, traders, brings you in 131.25. Now this is net after losses. And in fact, for my members, they actually have a calculator based upon, and so I'll just try to pull this up because this is important, based upon your win-loss ratio, your target, what your daily um, uh, target is, how many trades a day you may have to execute. Now all of a sudden, and I'll, I'll show you this in a moment, you'll see so many of the trades you'll achieve eight ticks on. Now all of a sudden, uh, if you take in a 75% win-loss ratio, you only need to execute a total of eight trades a day. 150 a day traders makes you very, very wealthy as you're about to see in a moment. Do not be deceived by 150 a day. Now, for an example here, say if you decide to trade, and I know once again, many of you have seen this, uh, say the 6E, this particular contract, which is great because it's got great volume, it trends really well. So there's a whole lot of reasons why you might be interested in this. And you can trade it 23 hours a day. And let's just say here, you go for $100 a day. What this tells me is that within 19 weeks, I can be on 10,000 a week. Now, this is where it's interesting. You can only start trading on this basis. Of course, you can trade a lot quicker, but here you only start trading a second contract once you double your money. Once you triple your money, you're now up to three. Once you're up to 10,000, four times that, you're now up to four contracts. You're building your account with the market's money. Now, what a lot of traders will do, they'll go like a bull at a gate and want to build their account overnight and they never get anywhere. This is a way to do it. Now, even if you've got fifty hundred thousand dollars now, start on a micro or a small account like this, earn your stripes, and maybe in four to six weeks, you go and start trading 20 lots. But make all the mistakes you're going to make initially on trading one contract. Now, if you look at then 150 a day, that's four, seven tick trades a day. Lease your commissions. Now the commissions are around $5 per trade, right? So four seven tick trades a day is 43, that's 175. So it's 155 a day. Uh, now, if we go here and look at 150 a day, right here, okay, you're up to your, you have the potential of being up there to 12,000 a week in 12 weeks and your trading account is now just under 50,000. This is the reality, traders. But unfortunately, most traders don't want to hear this. They just, you know, just fall in love with, they can go and make an absolute fortune and uh, they never actually do it. Treat this as a business. If you follow the plan, the compound effect is huge. Now, we're about to go to the charts in a moment where I'll walk you through how to actually do this. Now, First thing you have to do is you've got to learn, and I've trained, trained now over 10,000 traders. I have hundreds of traders in either my coaching classes or the live trading rooms. And what you've got to do traders is you've got to follow the Goldilocks rule. Um, uh, not too easy, not too hard, just right. And that is, I recommend you start off by trading only one or two setups following the trend only. Think of a market as an ocean. That's our dark blue line here. And you've got the smaller trends of the waves. What we want to do is trade in the direction of the higher time frame, And that is, I use what we call an entry chart. And I also use an anchor chart one and anchor chart two. Now, initially, when you first get going, that may seem a little confusing. So you start off just with an entry chart and an anchor chart one. After 10 to 20 hours of instructions, traders, and that is nothing for the money or the potential you have here, is you'll have this master. It's not rocket science, provided you keep it simple. Now. A couple of the setups, and I can't even remember right now the setups on this particular day, because this is typical for me. Uh, this took 90 minutes, I think. So typically I'll get in, have three or four winning trades in an hour or so. 
okay? And so you just multiply the amount of contracts you wanna trade subject to your rules, but some of them may be counter trend trades, but I'll show you all the trend trades that's set up in that meantime. Now also just a little word of warning, I don't wanna say warning, but just so you know, I'm usually preparing for the coaching sessions as I fire these off. So sometimes I'll take some, I'm usually having dinner at this time uh, because it's um, I'm still down under, I used to live in Santa Monica by the way, but I'm down under in Australia at the moment. And so, um, uh, uh, supper time, my time is early morning US time where most of my members are based. Okay, so let's go and have a look at the charts. So first of all, before I show you the three trades I fired off, um, just to show you, and so what I do is I go through in my live trading rooms, besides live trading, I'm also pointing out every setup and explaining where they should enter, where they put their stop loss and where they should exit. So it's really about, um, and, and fortunately the setups that I teach are very mechanical, very rules based, and that's absolutely critical when you're mastering the art of day trading. You've got to practice or you've got to trade rules based strategies. So you'll hear me talk a lot about two and three Bs, okay? These are very high probability trade entries, 2B, 2B, you had a 3B over here and these are, and it's beyond this session to explain all the rules to them. And of course, members, you, you get to learn all these, of course, but you get to discover that these are all trend following very high probability because not only are we trading them on our entry chart, but our higher time frames already also confirm. Now what you see I've got here like a 2D uh, here, that's a, divergence trade. 2D is one of the higher probabilities where I've got here a T19, that's a very low probability. Now just to, now these indicators are very basic here. And as I mentioned, virtually everything here is available on every platform. Uh, I have all of these coded, however, for um, NinjaTrader, uh, for TradeStation and all other platforms, I give you all of the settings but it's very important you understand what these few lines are here. Um, we consider or I consider what I call price magnets. See traders, there are what we call predictive indicators uh, whereby they plot in advance and you know with a very high degree of certainty, 85 to 95%, the price will go to those levels. So what are those levels? First of all, you've got your open, high, low and close from the prior day. In fact, just at this level, this confluence level, I've got that little white line, that's a prior day's close. The one of those blue lines up there, the darker blue one, very hard probably for you to see, that's the prior day's open. And the little blue line in between, that's actually a pivot point. And pivot points are calculated very similar, like you've got open, high, low and close based upon those prices, but pivots are calculated based on yesterday's price action and all professionals, we all trade pivots. Why? Because we trade into them and off them. And they're very easy to learn. And virtually every trading platform now has pivots, but some are better than others, by the way. So just looking at this here, this is what we call, by the way, a 2113. So if you see on my charts here, a 3413 or a 2113, they're basically as good as the two Bs. Now don't be fooled by these little moves. Remember before I said we're after, uh, well on average, by the way, I go for eight ticks a move. They're, they're, I just showed you seven as an example. But here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, romped it in there, romped it in there. So um, there's basically three of your, your trades right here. And these are mechanical trade entries. And the other thing traders, they're with the trend. So when I've got the orange cloud, we're in a downtrend. When I've got the blue, at least temporarily sometimes, we're in an uptrend. Now let's um, just look at that there. So great trend trade, great trend trade, great one there. These are fantastic, but it's a counter trend trade. And you and but oh, what I didn't point out, this is the current day's low. Current day's high and low can also be very much 
a pivot magnet as well, or a price magnet. You'll see after retracement, we come down and we love to come and retest it time and time again. Now, uh, so just there you had, um, uh, and, and if you remember, you'll be able to identify these immediately as well. So we pull up, nice little um, uh, T19, turn into a little double top there, by the way. Uh, then we had um, really nice divergence here, but I'll get to where the trades were quickly in a moment. Uh, if you watch my other videos, you'll hear me talk a lot about T3s. And here we had a, a T3 right here, great angulation. Um, a T3 meets, meets certain criteria and it doesn't have to have uh, any divergence. Very, very high probability reversal. And if it meets certain rules, I want you to imagine you're, you're pulling back an elastic band and you let it go and it snaps back. As Newton famously has said, apparently where there's a reaction is an opposite and equal reaction. Well, where we have a T3 with a lot of angulation, and that simply means price action is angling away, we generally have a really nice move back in the opposite direction. Now, um, just there we had a 2B, we had a 2B. Uh, and by the, the, the trades that I really recommend members um, learn, and if you, you end up joining us, uh, the your, your two and three Bs and your 34 Bs are your go-to trades initially. Two Ds or T19s are all divergence trades. Now, these codes, by the way, naturally we've got PowerPoints and you, you learn these in my coaching classes. I just, rather than say, oh, we've got a double divergence. So we just have codes on all of these. So as we're coming up here, uh, here's another one of these 3413s, very high probability trade. Now, 2Ds, 2D, getting a lot of divergence here. Uh, and now we come over and here's the first trade uh, of this session I took. And just here, um, this is also uh, a bet the farm. So I have a trade, I, it actually, it's a bit of tongue in cheek that I call a bet the farm trade. And we never ever break our 2% rule, ever. Okay, it's just one of those things you just never do. So we call it bet the farm, you're not really, but it's just a really good uh, EMA bounce and it just generally gives you a really great return overall. So it's a, a setup you learn, but it's very easy because it, it basically is very close to our standard 2Bs, 2BDs. Now here is one where you would have had a loss on it. Two BDs, by the way, traders, can be a lower probability trade. And the D simply means the two B set up after major divergence. So this is one where we haven't had a loss for a while, just look at all of these, but this is one where we would have had a loss. Now, see this uh, T20-1 here? This is another little setup. And just to look back here, very easy to identify. You had one there, you actually had one there. If you like, you had one there, you had one there, uh, you had one uh, T20-1 just there. There are a pattern that sets up every day after a certain, pattern on the charts with very high degree of act. Oh, when I say very high, 80% plus and fantastic for scalping. Okay, fantastic for scalping uh, those trades. So T20-1. Now here we've got a bet the farm. Now with this bet the farm, I actually traded this one up to, uh, and you can see where I got out. I traded that up to the day's price high. See that right there. I traded right up to there because these become price magnets, very much like pivots. When you're in a trade, um, uh, pro traders, we love to push up to those levels. If anything, we might even what we call front run, get out a tick or two uh, before then. Now, just up uh, here then, you had a potential T3 just there. 
Now with a T3, there's, uh, what was the reason? It was a T3 and I can't remember here what happened thereafter, but there was a, a, a T3 set up. Oh, that's right, it bounced off the pivot. So see that um, cyan line? That's right, it was a pivot bounce. So see that um, cyan line just there and the R1. The R1 is a pivot and the cyan line is actually the prior day's high. So when you break above these levels, we generally come down and bounce off those levels. Now, really, I, I was in the room at the time, I said to the traders, I really should have taken that trade because it was a PB, a pivot bounce, and there was no great divergence on the higher timeframes. I would have, could have, should have, but I should have taken that trade. Now, we then had a T20-1 down here. Okay, so I had a T20, uh, you had one over here, by the way, down here, and I took a little scalp here. Now that was only good for, for uh, three or four, was that uh, three or four ticks. Now that may not sound like much, but traders, but three ticks on this in this business is 1875, less your commission, that's 13, uh, say $5, that's 1375 net per contract. Now. You trade 10 lots, that's $130. It pays your commissions on a number of trades. And the reason I exited, you can see here, and this is a 200 uh, EMA, is we reverse off for 200 every day. And you can see here, we shot through this a little, just a little bit, um, we came through that and then we bounced. Now, uh, moving along here a little bit, what we can't see, and actually, let me just show you this. Let me just show you um, uh, our anchor chart here. See on the right here, this is called the anchor chart. What's happening just there? We've got a bounce. See this over here. I've got a two or a three B. See this one just there, a three B. Look what's happening on a high time frame. I've got a bounce again. There are certain numbers here and they're not Fibonacci numbers. Yes, some of the Fibonacci numbers I use for my EMAs, but I've discovered a time frame sequence for which I set up for my entry anchor chart one and anchor chart two. And we get these EMA bounces every single day. And do you know what? Training you over a couple of hours, you can pick them up in a blink of an eye. They're very easy. So sometimes traders will um, I'll, will say, oh, how'd you pick that? And I just show them on the anchor chart. It's, it's, it really is, uh, you know, I've been doing this for 28 years. So uh, look, Gan famously said, there's nothing new under the sun. There's probably other traders, of course, that um, uh, trade those, but it's rarely ever taught. Now up here, we actually had a couple of two Bs here, but you would have been selling in an uptrend. One of the things that's very important when you're day trading, and as I mentioned on that, are you trading in the direction of your overall trend? And this is where you need to be patient traders because there's so many trading opportunities. Uh, in fact, here in 90 minutes, and we actually have another setup in a moment, in 90 minutes, and remember I'm training traders live at this stage and calling trades, um, that you wrapped up, you know, 140, 150 per contract uh, in a matter of 60 minutes, an hour and a half. In this case, it was at 246. Okay, now that's only $123 a contract, but you start trading your 10 or 20 or apply this to the ES. Oh, by the way, um, let me just show you this here. I want you to look at what this chart looks like. Now, the 6E and the ES, the E minis, the chalk and cheese, total different markets. But look at this chart. Now, this is a Renko again. The formations are exactly the same. Now, this market, it's $12.50 per tick or per move. And actually, these candles here are actually bricks, but I just call them candles. They're two tick bricks. So each brick is $25, but each step is worth $12.50. Now, when you learn to follow the cloud and trade with the cloud, you can see here, you start getting five, 10 uh, step moves. Uh, and that's why I mentioned 
how much can you earn per contract? And I said between 100 and $600 per day per contract, depends on which market, the tick value, and how much time you're willing to put in to trading. Now, back here, uh, when we start to go flat like this, this is not my cup of tea, okay? This is where really I wanna sit this out. But then I had a 3B set up just here. Okay, now I didn't take that one and look at that there, another big 10, 10 tick move. Now remember, you only need four sevens a day. There's been, I don't know how many thus far. But then we had uh, a, a 2B here. And the reason I took this one, I think this is the one I took just here. Uh, this is the one, where is it? I think this is the one I took. Where is it? Uh, that, oh, that's right, that's right. This is, I then, oh, that's right. So you can't see it plotted here because I executed on another dome with, with another account. So um, you can't actually see it here plot. But just here, I took this one here because I'll, I'll tell you exactly why I took this one. The footprints of a trend are when you have higher highs and higher lows. So here you had a slightly higher high followed by a high, higher low. So that would have been a fantastic trade to take as well. And as I mentioned, the beautiful part about two and three Bs, these are all rules based, okay? Um, uh, so they're, they're all the same, okay? So it's rules based. But here I had a higher low straight after a higher high again. So, and there I targeted the, um, uh, the uh, high of the day for 10 ticks. Natural fact, just one moment. Let me just pull it up and show you this. Here we go. So now you can see where my entry was. Now at that time, if you look over here, well, perhaps you can't see it, but that was almost at the high. And I just front run that by a couple of ticks. Now, this is where um, also you can go for larger targets. So I'm talking about seven or eight ticks I've been talking to you about hitting your target. But when you see you're trading up into a price magnet or a floor pivot or a prior swing high, swing low, that's when you may choose to increase your time frames. Okay, so that was the third trade. So out of that, look, I only netted 246 out of those two contracts, but once again, traders, 246, that's $123 per contract in 90 minutes. And that's not taking every trade, okay? That's not trading. Here I am trading and talking to the members. So I'm calling these. Like just there, we had a 34.13. Now remember 34.13 traders, what did I say about the accuracy of 34.13s? Bang, up it goes. Now up here, and I'll just a couple more trades I'll explain here, which I think you'll find interesting. Remember before I said to you about floor pivots, very easy to learn once you un clearly understand how a floor pivot works. But up here, we actually then had a two, I had a double divergence and I had a pivot bounce to boot. Okay, it then formed, so you could have taken that one there, but then it formed a little double top and it was then what we call a 3D with what we call a T10 or a ka trade. And bang, down it goes from there. Now, pivot bounces, you're generally speaking traders, the very best reversal trades you'll ever have are off pivots, floor pivots, off prior days, high lows and closes, and off major EMA bounces like this one here. Now, this one here is a 2B, uh, just there. Let me just confirm that. Here I'm telling you, it's a few. Yes, it is, that's a 2B, just there. And then I had straight after that, a 34B that we would not have traded there. Now, even though it was good for maybe four or five ticks, Note this here that the distance from that particular trade here down to the pivot, okay? Note that you've got room to move where here you're selling right on the pivot. When you sell 
right on major EMAs and see this one here, we're right on a major EMA, it went back. So what we ended up having was a sec, what we call a second entry and away we went down of a pivot. Now, oh, and that one there, we call it, uh, that was only a 13B. So for members watching this, okay, we had a 13B compared to a 2B. Okay, so we had there, then we come down, we had a 34B, but we were on two areas of support. So once again, that cyan line, that's a prior high, and then we had the R1 resistance one. Okay, and the way we went from there. Remember before I was telling you about scalping your T20-1s? That was another uh, 2B here. Now, uh, look at the time here. Now, this is Central Standard Time at 6.39 a.m. This is another thing that we've got to be patient. Unfortunately, most traders suffer from what we call FOMO, fear of missing out. When you start to see your major EMAs go sideways, yes, you can trade your swings, particularly when you have divergence, okay? But what you really should be doing, traders, is waiting for the trends to kick in, such as when you start to make new higher highs, and new higher lows, okay? That's very important because otherwise you can be what we call chopped up unbelievably in those areas. So traders, we uh, will finish up, but just before we do, one thing I will say is that um, uh, hopefully you can see, I pretty much know what I'm talking about here. So why don't you come and join me? So for $197, you can get my entire program, over 200 hours of online instruction. No, you don't have to watch all of those. There's over 40 PowerPoints. All of my indicators are free. I don't charge, which will just save you a small fortune. And you know, not only do I save um, traders a huge amount of money, but I ch I'll save you months and months, if not years. I've been doing this for 28 years. And also, one other thing before you go is, I also include as a bonus where you can attend eight of my live coaching sessions. Now, I run two live sessions each week, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where we go through everything from psychology through to markets to trade, through exactly where do we enter, where do we exit, why, where do we place our stop loss, where we go through the entire syntax of a trade teaching you step by step how to day trade. Now that's $197 including the eight sessions that are free. And if you can't make it, they um, uh, they are recorded as well. Then after that, you can continue for only $97 a month, cancel at any, at any time. Now, when you first sign up and join my program, the Day Traders Fast Track program, the, you've got to opt in later on and say you wish to continue. So you're not signing any contracts, okay, when you first join. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. Come and join me in classes, traders, because my setups work, as you've probably seen right there, whether you trade oil, futures, it really doesn't matter. The ES, the NASDAQ, the, the setups work on all time frames and all markets. Thank you, traders. Uh, I'll see you on the next video. And traders, I love day trading. Thank you.